Yes, guys, we are finally back. We finally made it the second reaction video I've dropped on this year YouTube platform. Welcome to this year BRBP TV. Be real, be positive. Television, brothers, this is the previous one. is on Mr. Licks Reacts channel, guys. Definitely big up on yourself one time for definitely being a part of this year Vibrations. Round of applause goes up to every single one of you guys. And with that said, brothers and sisters, click the like button, brothers and sisters. Would appreciate that. Hit the thumbs up button. And of course, subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can pretty much be notified when I drop my videos right there and then, brothers and sisters. So big up on yourself one time. And of course, help the channel to grow when you do subscribe to this channel. So definitely, guys, subscribe. We're on the road to another thousand, brothers and sisters. So definitely getting that vibrations right there. Without further ado, brothers and sisters, don't forget to check out the previous one and the first comment in the comment box below, guys. And of course, let us get into the vibrations for today right there now brothers and sisters something rather interesting took place in the north of dominica on mon espanol as you can pretty much tell that there's some sort of incident that took place right there guys there's some sort of accident i'm not really sure how it happened but it happened nonetheless brothers and sisters and i'm not sure if it crashed into the road because i'm not seeing another vehicle of sorts but it's in the middle of the road and that's all the information we have right there guys that's all the information is there another vehicle somewhere i see a truck down there maybe you know i'm not really sure what has happened i actually heard the ambulance passing but that's pretty much all i know right there hopefully nobody got injured as a result of this and the individuals who actually know what actually happened right there let us know that in the comment box below guys this video is just sent to me so i decided to post it out right there now brothers and sisters there's something rather interesting taking place in the nature of the caribbean dominica brothers and sisters of course you heard about the incident of the the murder accused individuals who are apparently uh in jail i thought they were at their home or something because we were not hearing about them but you know these individuals are trying well jonathan Lair Lair um actually applied for bail at the high court which is interesting right there jonathan is this individual this individual right there brothers and sisters of course, he was one of the individuals who is alleged to be the uh, murder accused. Yes, brothers and sisters. The American-born owner of the Bois Colette Cotelet, uh, Jonathan Lea, is applying for bail at the High Court in Rose. Why? Lea, who is currently on remand at the Dominica State Prison, was jointly charged with his accomplice, or said accomplice, Robert Snyder Jr., for the taking of life of Culibri Ridge Echo Resort owners, Daniel, and, of course, his partner, Dominic on December 6th, that was last year, 2023. His bail application has been adjourned on Monday, April 15th. That is five days from now, brothers and sisters. After the weekend, Monday coming, they will hear the bail application right there. This matter, of course, the matter is being heard before the High Court judge Colin Williams. The state is reportedly opposing the bail application. I would oppose it as well. You know, what are you getting bail for? <laughs> to do what? You know? For you to go and harass those people constantly. Best you stay where you are, bro. Anyways, on December 1st, 2023, police discovered the charred remains of two individuals in a burned vehicle at the Galleon at 6 or 7 a.m. Uh, of course, that's the morning believed to be those of the French-Canadian um, Daniel and, of course, Dominic right there. Respective, uh, uh, respected propri proprietors, proprietors, I seen something flashing there, guys. Anyways, respected proprietors of the highly regarded Culibri Ridge Echo Resort, who had been reported as missing, the burned vehicle also aligned with the description of the missing couple. Of course, police source further revealed. Unfortunately, according to the police, extreme fire conditions rendered the bodies unidentifiable. That's something else. Of course, Le Le Laglu. La and later daniel and the other partner um no um daniel and dominic um wait is is that okay yeah because i was like why only later anyways let's continue right there so look like lang glows or whatever likely online found themselves embroiled in a heated dispute regarding the use of the culibri ridge public road public road a passage that cuts through the bois 53 acre uh, estate which is why i always wonder why on earth did they give them the the, the authority and the, the ability for them to you know own these areas right there brothers and sisters was it because of some monies uh, you know but anyways the dispute started when lair 
the owner of Wakotli um, Inc. blocked the road by placing boulders. It's not your road. What are you placing boulders for? Digging a trench. Who tell you dig the trench in the road and deploying equipment? Impeding layers, um, of course, Daniel access to his property right there, the Colby Ridge property. This interference prompted Lagos to take legal action. So he took legal action, citing damages, loss, and of course, interference with the his interests. Of course, they sought a permanent injunction against the murder accused and his company for uh, disrupting the use of the public road, brothers and sisters. Um, legal proceedings commenced with an interim injunction issued on October 30, 2018. 2018. So there's something, there's, there's a date missing there. Uh, there's a date missing in this story. But anyways, uh, I guess they, they, they got it right there. Anyways, legal proceedings happened around October 30th, 2018 by the High Court, um, mandating the murder accused to unblock the road and restore it to its prior condition. How did this happen, bro? This is a public road. How did this happen? There are people actually using the road, normal citizens of Dominica using the road, and they blocked the road they, to the point where they have to take them to court. Really? Bruh. I myself think, brothers and sisters, they probably just took these guys, and, you know, took the, the man and the lady from Culibri, bring them and put them in a vehicle and set it on fire. But apparently, you know, that was, that was, that, that's the audacity right there. Brothers and sisters, let me read that again. Legal proceedings commence with an interim injunction issued on October 30th, 2018. By the High Court mandating Lair to unblock the road and restore it to its prior condition. Its previous, previous usable condition, brothers and sisters. Subsequent hearing in November 2018 led to further court orders. Boy, hey. So, the normal Dominican citizens were not making noise to the point where, well, they probably re relied on, on, on um, Daniel and Dominic to, to, to try to solve that issue. But this is a public road that these people decide they want to block. <laughs> To prevent them from the access to Colibri. For and <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. Subsequent hearings in November 28th led to the further um further court um orders, including directives involving the attorney general. What is what why? Anyways, guys, something keeps flashing on my screen, man. Anyways, guys, let me try and get through this thing. 2019, High Court Judge Bernie Stevenson in her ruling affirmed the road's public status granting daniel guests unrestricted access so the court ruled in favor of daniel and dominic them this individual was at the scene right there guys ruling favor for them so you should just leave the matter alone it's not your road affirm the road's public status it's public <laughs> boy I myself I, I'm trying to figure out what was going on with the citizens in the software what was going on how on earth you you just public road I understand if it's your property but this is public road public road and they block the road <laughs> but here foreigners come in and block your public road in your country to the point where they took the lives of these individuals Oh boy. What 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 kind of hatred and what what can <laughs> sir? In 2019, High Court Judge Bernie Stevenson in ruling affirmed the road's public um status, granting Lagos um Lagos guests unrestricted access. Leah and Snyder are represented by attorneys Wayne Nordy and Lennox Lawrence, of course. Once it's Lennox Lawrence. <laughs> of course. Brothers and sisters, as you can see, this is the issue right there but he asking for bail wait a while so if if is if it's jonathan that asking for bail what happened to this one so this is jonathan this one asking for bail what about this one so you you want put yourself the court rule <laughs> so that the road remains public because of the public status of the road so you have to unblock it no you're not settled with that 
you, you think ending their lives would make people stop using the public road? I mean, who? who? Guys, I'm trying to think of the logic. One of the things with me, I like to use logic. The road is public. You have problems with people passing the public road because your 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 what was given to you, what was sold to you, whatever the measure is, is pretty much the road is passing through. The public road is passing through your area. You decide you blocking the road. After you block the road, the people you are blocking, the Colibri individuals, took you to court. They won the case. They told you to unblock the road. In your heart of hearts of thinking properly, my goodness, you will then resort a few years later to decide to take the lives of the individuals in question, not realizing, but wait a while, these people are well known, they are well loved by the community. Us taking their lives, or is alleged that you took their lives, you are you are you and the other one alleged to be taking the lives of this this these individuals right there. You know, thinking to yourself, maybe that might sound fishy. You know, we have disputes. It's public. We have court matters. It's public. We're going to take the lives of them. Most likely, they'll come back to us on that merit. No. You brought somebody. I'll let you, you, I'll let you, you have brought somebody from overseas to come and help you create the crime. And you think because you're in Dominica of some sorts. Well... I cannot blame you too much for that because I mean sometimes robbery taking place on camera and it's still not solved. They rob St. Joe Police Station, that's still not solved. They throw in marijuana and all sorts of things inside the prison from outside. Hi. That is so maybe you thought, hey, you could probably escape with this thing. I know you're asking for bail. Brothers and sisters, don't stop there now. There's this report. The American man accused of murdering two Canadians on the island of Dominica is seeking bail. Hmm. Daniel Langlois and Dominique Oi. Marchand were found in a burnt-out car late last year. The accused says he needs medical attention. That hmm. After you, 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 I sometimes, I, I don't, I don't understand how people just think. You are the one who alleged to have taken the lives of two individuals. In the most terrifying way, brothers and sisters. You ever feel fire, brothers and sisters? You feel fire? Imagine it on your whole body. Hmm? Not just your whole body, but they use chemicals on these individuals. My God. And you're not thinking of their life stake. You're thinking of yours now. You're thinking of your, your life stake. After you are the one who is completely charged for taking their lives. You want for you to you want better you want medical attention so you can live while you took the lives of others. That's if it's me rotting in that jail. There. He is being denied in a roach-infested prison. Hmm. <laughs> a roach-infested prison for sure. Ah, boy. I hope they have you in the worst part of prison. That's if he is jean pierre Boschman reports. American Jonathan Lair appeared before court on the lush island of Dominica. By the way, this report came April um, 9th, that was yesterday, 20, 2024, around 11, 29 p.m. Asking to be freed on bail. Hmm. Poor you, boy. He looks slightly pale. My information is that he's trying to get bail on medical grounds. Of course, Kalai. Kalai is the one that, okay. In written statements previously sent to CTV News, Lair says he has an 85% chance of having prostate cancer. <laughs> so, you're not diagnosed with prostate cancer. You're saying you have an 85% chance of, 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 of having prostate cancer? Boy. And that he was denied access to a urologist. Last week, the American businessman accused of a double murder broke his silence from behind bars, saying through a spokesperson that international media reports have been unfair. Lair and another American, Robert Snyder Jr., were arrested last December. They've been unfair. So let me let me see if something is fair to you. You are the murder accused of two individuals who you burnt in a vehicle. That is the vehicle burnt, burnt with the individuals inside there to the point where they could not even identify the individuals. 
boy. Some of all you have the audacity. We got that is the audacity. We. Saying through a spokesperson that international media reports have been unfair. Hmm. Lair and another American, Robert Snyder Jr., were arrested last December, days after Canadians Daniel Langlois and Dominique Marchand were found dead in a burnt-out car. Hmm. It was not real, what's up? The murders shook the Caribbean island. Hmm. The couple was admired for philanthropy in Dominica, and Langlois was well known in Quebec as the creative genius behind special effects in movies including Jurassic Park. Reports have swirled that a long, bitter dispute between Langlois and Lair over a shared road could be at the center of this case. But Nobody poor. else should be passing poor. on his property. Poor. But Lair says the dispute poor. was not as big a deal to him as has been portrayed. It was a dispute, if you will, but it's been extremely <clears throat> overblown. In the they, they took the lives of two individuals that were helping the south of Dominica. And you're saying it has been overblown? The final court ruling has yet to Poor. be issued. The years-long legal fight was over whether a road called Morne Rouge Public Road was indeed public or private, as Lair argued. How do you mean, if it was public or private? The road was there before the man come. You cannot buy the road. Therefore, you need to have access. That's one of the laws in Dominica. I mean, how you don't know that, that's, that's beyond me. But you need to have access. Once there's the public road is there... There are different people in that area. Whatever is in, even even if it's on your land, that they have to create a road so that they can create access for that person. It has to happen. So even if the road wasn't there, and that was the only way for them to have access to the, they have to make the road. They have to. The road was there before, and you take the lies because individuals were passing on the public road, and you want bail. Gasa, best you get prostate cancer. It cuts through Boy? his 18th century cocoa and coffee estate. Lair claimed he wanted to understand. prevent damage to his historic buildings and had provided viable bypasses. The decision on whether Lair will be granted oh, you, you, viable bypasses Boy. over a shared road could be at the center of this case. Nobody else should be passing on his property. But Lair says the dispute was not as big a deal to him as has been portrayed. It was a dispute, if you will, but... It's been extremely <coughs> overblown in oh, the narrative. No easy the final court ruling has yet to be issued. The years-long legal fight was over whether a road called Morne Rouge Public Road was indeed public or private, as Lair argued. It cuts through his 18th century cocoa oh. and coffee estate. Lair First of all, that, not, that land not even supposed to be to Mr. How they could give? Oh, my God in heaven. I... I claimed he wanted to prevent damage to his historic buildings and had provided viable bypasses. Are you providing viable bypasses when the public road is there? Who are you? Who are you? Boy. The decision on whether Lair will be granted bail is expected early next week. Geneviève Beauchemin, CTV News, Montreal. Bruh, that is just crazy to me, man. That is just insane to me, bro. That That is just... I myself, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. The man seeking bail, we boy. Talk about prostate cancer. I see. Guys, what are your thoughts, man? Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm exaggerating the whole thing. I'm trying to figure out if this thing makes any sense. How? And then the person in overseas saying it's exaggerating. They, they took the eyes off. That's uh, What are your thoughts, guys? Let me know your thoughts in the comment box below, guys. This is pretty much all you ask for this year, Mr. Leaks. No, BRBP TV. Check out the Mr. Leaks reaction channel, guys. The link will be in the first comment in the comment box below, guys. And of course, with that said, right there, give this video a thumbs up, guys. Click the thumbs up button. Click the like button. I would appreciate that. And of course, subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can get all the videos as they tend to come through. Of course, helping the channel to grow as well when you subscribe, brothers and sisters. But Mr. Leaks, once again, be real. <laughs> be positive.